So if, if you know, nearly half of all blacks uh, are not okay with white people, according to this poll, not according to me, according to this poll, uh, that's a hate group. That's a hate group. And I don't want to have anything to do with them. And I would say, you know, based on the current way things are going, the best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. Just get the f*** away. So that's what I did. I went to a neighborhood where, you know, I have a very low black population. Because unfortunately, the, you know, there's a high correlation between the density. And this is according to Don Lemon, by the way. Um, so here I'm just quoting Don Lemon when, when he notes that the, when he lived in a uh, mostly black neighborhood, there were a bunch of problems that he didn't see in white neighborhoods. So even Don Lemon sees a big difference in your own quality of living based on where you live and who's there. So I I think it makes no sense whatsoever as a uh, white citizen of America to try to help black citizens anymore. It doesn't make sense. Um, And I'm also really sick of seeing video after video of black Americans beating up non-black citizens. The racist garbage that you just heard came from Dilbert creator Scott Adams, and he said this during a YouTube live stream, and what set him off was this poll by Rasmussen, which supposedly proves that black people are a hate group, according to him, because 26% of black respondents disagree with this statement, quote, it's okay to be white. And when you add the 21% of black respondents who don't know, well, that accounts for the nearly half of black respondents that Adams claims are racist. Now, the slogan, it's okay to be white, was created back in 20. 2017 by 4chan trolls in an effort to goad liberals into playing into the right's anti-white racism allegations, but the slogan was quickly adopted by actual white supremacists. So disagreeing with that statement doesn't mean that the black respondents in this poll are racist against white people. As Philip Bump of the Washington Post put it, do you agree with the statement all lives matter? No one cognizant of American politics in the last decade would not recognize that statement for what it is. It's not a comment about whether lives matter. It's a rebuttal to the activist phrase black lives matter it's not about all lives it's about the black lives matter movement quote it's okay to be white involves a similarly loaded if less broadly recognized context so the question itself is extremely bizarre and no reputable polling company would ask that question if a polling company that's actually credible tried to figure out racial animus among different demographics that isn't how they would necessarily word a poll. But Rasmussen is not a reputable company. Bump continues, in the wake of the 2020 election, it shared misinformation about fraud and backed up Trump's efforts to reject electors. In recent months, it has boosted anti-vaccination conspiracy theories. Its polls, meanwhile, are often sponsored by hard right organizations and causes. Now, their methodology, not to mention, is dubious at best, according to data journalist Elliot G. Morris. I'll link to that down below. And I think that most people recognize at this point that Rasmussen is not to be trusted. But yet, Scott Adams used that poll to deduce that black people are a hate group. Yeah, it's deeply, deeply unserious, explicitly racist, but thankfully he's paying the consequences for his racist words because this capitalist is seeing how the free market reacts to overt racism. He tweeted out, Dilbert has been canceled from all newspapers, websites, calendars, and books because I gave some advice everyone agreed with. I don't think so. My syndication partner canceled me. He continues, my publisher for non-Dilbert books has canceled my upcoming book and the entire backlist. Still no disagreement about my point of view. (laughs) He's insisting that people agree with him. My book agent canceled me too, but it gets it's even better because he's going to, while trying to defend himself and doubling and tripling and quadrupling down, going to claim that it's actually the white people who are racist against him. And it's not really black people because he also identifies as black. Just let me read it to you. I've lost three careers to direct racism so far. Crocker Bank, Pacific Bell, and cartooning. All three were perpetrated by white people for their own gain. No black person has ever discriminated against me. That's partly why I identified as black for for several years. He explains, I lost my TV show for being white when UPN decided it would focus on an African-American audience. That was the third job I lost for being white. The other two in corporate America, they told me directly. 
Hmm. Well, it seems like, according to him, white people are the real hate group in this country, but also it's black people because UPN decided to focus on an African-American audience. What I get from this is that he is definitely the victim, and I feel so bad for him. I mean, when are white people in America finally going to catch a break? I mean, he's lost everything. He's only worth $75 million. What left can they possibly take from him? This is conservative politics in America for all of my international viewers. This is common. Even if you are a multi, multi, multi-millionaire, you're still the victim regardless, even if you say things that you know are going to be controversial. Now, he is right about one thing. The backlash has been swift. Washington Post explains the Washington Post, the New York Times, the Los Angeles Times, and the USA Today network of hundreds of newspapers were among publications that announced they would stop publishing Dilbert after Adam's racist rant on YouTube on Wednesday. Asked on Saturday about how many newspapers still carried the strip, a workplace satire he created in 1989, Adams told the Post by Monday around zero. In other words, He's in the finding out phase after f***ing around. Now, he tried to counter getting canceled with a boycott of his own, and he kind of just floated that into the ether. But unfortunately, it didn't go too well because on Twitter, he tweeted out, are you considering canceling your newspaper subscription if you have one because Dilbert got canceled and only... 16.7% said yes. This is his own followers, by the way, but I voted as well. Uh, he followed up by saying, I don't favor boycotts in most cases. I was just curious. Unless, you know, maybe you do want to boycott. You don't? Oh, okay, never mind. Then I don't support boycotts. I mean, this individual is a clown and i'm not surprised at all by his racism because for years now he's been telling us who he is with various batshit insane comments not just the racism but insanity more broadly speaking so this to me is not surprising nobody's defending him including his own followers although there is one individual who decided to step up to the plate i am of course referring to the owner of twitter ellen musk well, or mist of the Washington Post reports, Twitter and Tesla chief Elon Musk defended Scott Adams, the under fire creator of Dilbert, in a series of tweets Sunday blasting media organizations for dropping his comic strip after Adams said that white people should get the hell away from black people. Replying to tweets about the controversy, Musk said it is actually the media that is racist against whites and Asians. He offered no criticism of Adams' comments in which the cartoonist called black people a hate group and said, I don't want to have anything to do with them now there's a reason why musk hasn't addressed adam's actual comments here we'll get to that in a second here but if you were to look at scott adams feed he is absolutely not apologetic at all he's doubling down and musk responded to one of his tweets where he's trying to defend himself for example adams wrote is it racist to avoid racists who are the same race as each other or is it only racist if the racist you are avoiding are white now musk responded to that saying simultaneously an interesting question and a tongue twister he is so goddamn corny now the most funny aspect about this story is that elon musk was defending scott adams presumably before he even knew what he was saying so he replied to another one of adam's tweets where he talks about dilbert getting dropped and asks what exactly are they complaining about but then he suspiciously deleted that tweet and as matt bender put it um i guess i guess he found out so elon musk decided to defend scott adams when no one else would before he even knew what scott adams said because he probably just assumed well you know liberals say everything is racist i'm sure that scott adams said something completely innocuous and wasn't racist at all but then he looked up what scott adams said and then he thought oh that's what he said oh okay okay um gonna nope out of that one <laughs> you know he regretted that shit immediately so yeah, I love that Elon Musk decided to um, jump in and defend Scott Adams, because if you know anything about Scott Adams, if you if you followed him throughout the years, as I've alluded to earlier, this isn't necessarily surprising. This is for sure the most explicit and overt he's been in his racism, but he's made comments before that are terrible. But here he's just saying, yeah, black people are a hate group and you should get away from them. Elon Musk can't really come up with some sort of defense there's no plausible deniability there so what does he do he nopes out of the situation deletes the tweet and then subsequently shuts the fuck up about it i love it because these right wingers are clowns and they automatically 
are susceptible to be sympathetic towards any right winger who's peddling this victim narrative, right? So he sees Scott Adams, he's been victimized by cancel culture. He himself has been a victim of cancel culture. So he thinks, well, it must be for a terrible reason that he was canceled. And then he sees, mm, maybe everyone is right to be outraged here. I just love it because we have two clowns and um, they're making a fool of themselves, but it's not the first time and it probably won't be the last time. I'm gonna come. Do not come. 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 Welcome, Welcome to the Come Zone. Come. 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 Come